This is a very common question from algebra and also pre calculus students. How do we know if a quadratic trinomial is factorable or not? Of course, we can just go ahead and try to factor this. List out all the combinations and just try to test them out. If none of them works, then of course this is not factorable. But that's not efficient, right? So in fact, we can actually just borrow a small part of the quadratic formula. Check this out right here. The quadratic trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c this right here is factorable if b squared minus 4ac is a perfect square. And this right here is inside of the square root of the quadratic formula, right? And it has a special name. If you guys know the special name, leave a comment down below and let us know. So after I demonstrate these two examples, you guys are going to do this too right here, all right? So before I even try to factor it, maybe let me just work that out right here first. Right here, we know a is equal to 4 and b is equal to this, which is negative 5, and c is equal to negative 6. And of course, worked out, b is negative 5, and we square that, and then minus 4ac, and a is 4, and c is negative 6. And uh, let's see, this is 25, and then minus minus becomes plus, and then 16 times 6 is 96, and altogether we get 121. Is this a perfect square? What do we mean by a perfect square? That means if you take the square root, what do we get? We get a nice number, 11, right? So this is indeed a perfect square. So that means this right here is factorable. So this right here, mm, let me just put on a check mark, a blue check mark, which is really cool nowadays. If it's factorable, we should factor it. So let me show you guys how to factor that. 4x squared minus 5x minus 6, and I like to use the tic-tac-toe method. Just go ahead and draw the tic tac boxes like so. And I'm just going to put down the correct factoring for you guys. We ask ourselves, what times what give us 4x squared? Well, you have 2x times 2x, or maybe 4x times x. We are going to use 4x times x. How do we know? Because as I told you, we just know. Right? I'm going to give you guys the answer for this one. But anyway, what times what give us negative 6? We are going to use negative 2 and 3. You can try to with like negative 6 and 1 and things like that. But let me tell you, negative 2 goes here and 3 goes right here. How do we all know that? Well, I did this so many times before, to be honest. But anyway, let me just convince you guys this is the correct combination that we want to use. Because if you do 4x times negative 2, we get negative 8x. And then we do 3 times x, we get 3x. Together, we do end up with negative 5x. So this is the correct combination. And to write down the answer, you are going to read it across. So the first factor is 4x plus 3, and the second one is x minus 2. Of course, the order of the parentheses, the factors, they don't matter, right? Yeah, so we'll just leave it like that. That's it. So of course, if, if, once you know it's factorable, try it. Especially if the number is like, really big, then if you know it's not factorable, don't even have to try. Let's take a look at this one. So of course, a is equal to 3, b is equal to 6, this is the b, this is the 6, and then c is equal to negative 8. Go ahead and work out b squared, which is 6 squared minus 4 times a, and then times c. Okay, this is 36, again that will give us plus, this is going to be 12, 12 times 8 is 96, well again? I didn't know about that, but anyway. And then if you just add, this is going to be 132. Yes. Is 132 a perfect square? No. You can go ahead and test it out on your calculator, but just say, not a perfect square. So in fact, this right here is not factorable. So there you have it. If you guys are tired of like, guess and check, and then just try out all the combinations for factoring trinomials. Well, go ahead and do this first. If you end up with not perfect square for the discriminant, yeah, that's the name of that thing, uh, you don't even have to continue. So hopefully this helps, and don't forget to try these two questions.